Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, it's been a while since I've posted um, out here today with we got L Train, we got Bravo, and y'all know how much I love like trying different things, being curious. So today you'll notice the dive flag on L Train's ride. We're going, we're launching out of MDR, and that would be the jetty wall over there. We're gonna launch and we're going to try and spearfish the outside of the jetty wall. So that's gonna be like new and fun and exciting. Um, what have I been doing? I've actually, you know, despite the lack of the videos being posted, I've actually been quite busy. Got rescued by the Coast Guard. And I'll probably put a video together uh, on how that happened. You know, my ego isn't so big where um, I'm afraid to post my bad decision making and my boo-boos if I feel like it's going to help the collector. So, you know, if I post it and people learn from it, then and that, that's all I can ask for. Uh, what else have I been doing? Um, finally got, on the third try, I finally got the Death Valley to Mount Whitney Endeavor done. That was incredibly difficult um been writing a ton of music and just a real quick side note i'm curious as to what vocals might sound like on some of my music tracks so if you are a female vocalist especially if you are a vocalist slash lyricist please reach out to me what else um road or actually mostly walked my bike up to one of the tallest peaks in the Sierra. That was fun. Um, and then learned how to wheelie a bicycle. And that turned out to be surprisingly difficult, right? Not in terms of like physical exertion, but it took a lot of time. But anyways, enough of my jibber jabber, okay? The uh, jetty wall is getting closer. By the way, we launched from the MDR public boat launch ramp and as I've mentioned in other videos um, MDR if you are a newbie kayaker I think easily the best easiest place to launch the one drawback being So if you have watched my previous videos on MDR Marina Del Rey I do believe that it is the best place to launch if you want to try your first saltwater kayaking trip and I'm going to show you why real quick so this is the harbor, this is the jetty wall, which by the way is not connected to land and that's important because it doesn't get pressured. Um, and then you have the public boat launch ramp here and I've never had a hard time finding parking, okay. um, even on weekends, assuming that you get there kind of early, you know like maybe 6, 7 a.m. The only drawback to MDR is that once you launch, to get from the launch area to the jetty wall, it's about a mile and a half paddle. You know, which is okay because you're paddling in, in mostly just harbor water, which is which tends to be really calm and, and even. Okay, the other thing is, you'll probably note that I'm on a new ride. It's probably be, uh, what, my third time taking it out. Or maybe the first time y'all, well, maybe the second time y'all are seeing it. Um, so I went from the old uh, Hobie to this pedal drive system and I'm, I should probably make a video on this. There's some things that I really like about this ride and there are things that just annoy me about this ride. And so I'm going to shed some, some light or give you my insight as to what I do like and what I do not like. So stay tuned for that as well. Okay, one last announcement and I swear I will get to the fishing stuff. Um, one of our team members has a daughter who is um, in the Girl Scouts and around this time of year they do the uh, cookie drive or whatever you call it. So I'm going to leave a link in the description in case you want to help out with the Girl Scouts. Hey, you show me or you show us some love and I will show you love in return, okay? Uh, the one thing I should note is please, if you decide to purchase cookies, please do not 
choose deliver my cookies okay um, unless you are 100% sure that you're going to hook up with us on a fishing trip or, or something of that nature so please do choose the ship my cookies um, option thanks a lot maybe around 11 12 p.m. the wind is really gonna start picking up so um, as I've mentioned before always check the forecast always have a game plan ready in case things go sideways so but for now I mean like perfect weather almost no wind I mean, look at the swells pretty much non-existent I'm gonna say like you know one to two foot with big intervals in between so about as ideal a day as you could hope for you know you're not gonna get beat up by the sun but um, always a reminder check the marine forecast Okay, at this point let me give you a bird's eye of the specific location so as I mentioned we launched from the boat launch ramp and we we're paddling uh, we typically make a right turn here and where we are about to set up shop is just outside of the jetty wall right around here and I spent over a year fishing this jetty wall when I was just starting out, so I, I'm kind of familiar with the lay of the land as it pertains to this specific jetty wall. So first of all, as I mentioned, because it is not connected to land, this jetty wall does not get pressured by shore fishermen, and that's a huge deal, okay? And so the flag is somewhere around here, and um, the fishing that I found to be the best is not right at the turn but somewhere like maybe around this point you know it could have something to do with the uh, formation of the rocks underneath or whatever but if I had to give you one specific spot for spear fishing or you know working the jetty wall I would say come out and maybe fish a little bit north of the flag maybe around this area here okay turning the uh, corner on the jetty um, so today my main role is to be like support staff so I'm gonna be um, up top while these guys do their spear fishing thing I'm you know <laughs> I'm a coward when it comes to like going in the water I'm definitely afraid of the uh, man in the gray suit which is kind of funny because I kind of grew up in, like boogie boarding and surfing and stuff like that but I think you know with the uh, explosion in the sea lion population I'm hearing more and more like sightings and stories so yeah I'm kind of a chicken so I'm gonna be up top what a beautiful day by the way uh, look at that look at the flag zero wind that is going to change but anyways um, I'm gonna be up top and I'm basically gonna be just shepherding their kayak so that they don't you know drift off or whatever um, still fun for me you know like as I mentioned love trying different things and stuff like that right, so i have a tendency to be you know overly cautious when when talking with the people who might follow my channel so what they're doing is uh definitely not for new people okay um so you know just going into the water the cold water is going to be kind of challenging they're both in wetsuits so you have you know some elements here you have the cold water and then again we're close to the jetty so you know be careful you know um, don't just rush off to emulate stuff you see on YouTube without really understanding what it involves right and especially what could go wrong okay so at this point I'm going to put out a disclaimer this is not the first time we have done spearfishing so what I'm going to do is, um, in order to give you as much action footage as possible, and I totally get that people tune in to YouTube to watch action sequences, what I'm going to do is, um, you know, pick up sequences from uh, trips in the past so I can give you some fish catching video, you know, some bass, some halibut. So, you know, if people look like they're wearing different clothing, that's what's happening, okay? Um, it's basically a montage of, of sequences and clips from about two three trips all right so i'm just gonna drop it down to the bottom and then just work my way back toward the team and just bounce it on the bottom and uh, that technique hopefully will maybe catch me a flatty 
hopefully. <laughs> you never know. I never know with laddies. It's just, you know, the throw of the dice. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm bouncing, I think, a one ounce red crab hookup bait on the bottom, like nearby the jetty. So I'm the last guy, you know, to be asking about, you know, flatties with. Uh, that kind of fishing has never really appealed to me because it's not visual enough. But um, I'm basically, I'm bouncing it on the bottom and I happen to run into a flatty. So with flatties, my, my take on them is, yes, they are bottom dwelling fish, obviously, and they like to hide in sand. But I do think like they're not going to just randomly hide in any kind of sandy area. You know, they need to seek a, um, protection, they need to seek food. So I do believe they hang out in flat, uh, sandy areas near structure, you know, whether it be like a shipwreck or a jetty wall or something like that. And so I need to be a little bit careful here because um, it's not a very big flatty. It was legal, but it's not a big flatty, but I am fishing probably like eight pound liter which is asking for, for trouble when you're fishing your structure like jetty walls and such. Wow, what is that? Is that a sargo? Is that what that is? A sargo? That's a zebra perch. A zebra perch, awesome man. That a boy. Wow, that's cool man. That is so awesome. It's a zebra perch. I mean for for a perch that's pretty big, man. Okay, I'll take them for you and okay. you can go back and do your thing, man. Appreciate it. Alright, looks like uh we bagged another one. Oh, there we go. Sargo! That's a Sargo? Alright, I'm gonna swing by. Nice. Are these good eating? Apparently so. Wow. Yeah. You I got a stringer on my... Nah, no problem. Oh, look at... So these guys are reporting that there is a ton of life by the jetty wall. Yeah, I got Pretty good eating? Yeah. Fish wow. tacos. There's like a whole school of them down there. Yeah. Anything, anything big? Oh, there's big ones in there too. Really? I haven't seen any sheep on there. Any other spe uh, like species? I seen a calico here and there, and a lot of them are baldy, but okay. yeah. no, uh, no sheep pen. It's okay. hard to see right now. Bring back the biggest Garibaldi you can find. No, I'm, I'm just there. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you want to put that fish on this boat? I'm going to... I kind of want to take a walk to the, I have a... Okay, like, all right, cool. I'm going to back out then. A couple more Sargo on the boat. Again, uh, please don't uh, try this at home unless you know what you're doing. Uh, you know. Yep. That oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of this sheephead. Wow. <laughs> Atta boy. So, pretty nice sheep head. So here I'm going to show you some footage from L-Train's perspective as he goes underneath the water. 
Now this footage was taken from inside the jetty wall, not the outside. We had to kind of duck in because the wind and the swells were getting worse. But he tells me that on the outer side of the jetty wall, there are many bigger fish. Right, I'm gonna try and bust my ass, try to find, or try to catch at least one fish for you guys. Okay, so at this point, we are running out of time in terms of good weather window. So we leave the jetty wall and then we kind of venture out a little bit to try and find some, some bass. Okay, so this video was filmed early February, so the water's still cold and generally the fish are gonna be a little bit sluggish. But um, the artificial reef, which is kind of like the big spot for the MDR area is right around here, but we do not go that far out. We're basically just kind of venturing around here looking for any kind of like little substructure or something like that. And um, L Train has this phone app, I think it's made by Lawrence and it's pretty detailed. So we're just basically hunting around this area like around here. Oh, is that the bottom? Yeah, here we go. Oh, this is a decent fish. This is actually a decent fish here. When I, hit, I thought I hit the bottom, but this is a decent fish. I mean, this is a light rod, but this is a decent fish. A little bit of relief, and I like it. I understand my channel. I'm, I just jibber jabber way too much, and I don't often give you guys enough like fish catching action so I'm kind of glad that I can do this. <laughs> he might win this. <laughs> I might not win this because this leader is like uh, 12 pounds so I, shoot, I hope I can win this but I might not be able to because he's not really showing signs of caving in here. Got to be careful, this is light line, light tackle. Constant adjustments. Constant adjustments with that. Yeah, this is for Marina Del Rey. I suspect this is going to be a nicer fish. Okay, so he's off the bottom, so I'm going to loosen the drag a little bit, because I'd hate to like bring him up and then Leave them at the surface. Okay, there's the leader. Right, there's... I gotta be careful here. And there you go. Nice sound bass. I don't know. I'm not good at like estimating, guesstimating. I'm gonna get like three, four pounds or something. Right, I'm gonna stick my fingers in his mouth, but I gotta be careful because they have sharp teeth and there's a trouble hook too, so. If you're gonna grab them, you gotta do it with commitment. All right. So, yeah, I mean, for Marina Del Rey, this is pretty decent. Okay, so I don't keep many fish, so off you go, pal. He's good. So after that, we have to retreat back to the safety of the harbor because the wind is really picking up. Look at the flag. There we go. Oh, nice. Little opal eye. Nicely done, sir. So here we're just messing around having fun using very light tackle. And L Train, as a matter of fact, has some kind of like really uh, long fishing pole with no reel maybe a tenkara or something like that and we're picking up opal eye and a couple of small bass using mussel as bait a little bass a little bass well, that's a pretty little uh, calico bass nice job man this is so much fun You want some hard charging opal eye action, you tune into my channel. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, that's 
That's actually a nice opal eye. That is a nice one. We have a bird that's in trouble. Uh, Animal rescue. Yeah, it's gonna. Dr I mean, like that bird's gonna drown within minutes if we don't do something. Oh, nice job, Bravo. I mean, you gotta be like decisive. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're good. Okay, so after the animal rescue, we decided to kind of paddle back. And uh, I got to tell you, we got inside the harbor just in time because the weather forecast in this case was spot on. The winds really picked up um, 30 miles plus. And look how look how messy the water is inside the harbor so you can only imagine what the water must have been like outside I mean there was spray coming over the top of the jetty wall okay with that I'm gonna wrap up this video I'm gonna try and crank out as many videos as I can in the next you know couple three weeks beginning with an easy invitational video probably something like freshwater maybe pyramid lake that seems to be a pretty popular video um, get out there be safe have fun, and we will talk to you soon. Bye for now.